Hello Stevies. Today is going to be an all Road King video. Play the intro. Or what I mean or whatever, you know? I mean I know our channel has a lot of Honda Fury lovers on it, but if you guys keep an open mind and stick around, I'd appreciate it. Otherwise, if you just want to skip this video, I totally understand. But I get asked a lot about this Road King, so we're just going to go through it from front to back. That way I will have a video to reference to if anybody wants to ask any more questions about it. I can just tell you to watch this video. Bam! I'm probably still going to answer the questions. So we're going to go ahead and start at the front with the chrome front end front forks front sliders now I personally think that this is the biggest bang for your buck to put on your touring bike I think it's the best thing you can do for the bike this looks like it's supposed to be instead of the dull aluminum that it comes with I don't understand why they come that way but they do we've got custom wheels front and back I'm not sure what which ones these are I'll look it up and I'll put it down here somewhere also floating front rotors and the axle nut covers we'll stay down here for a little bit well we got the steel braided lines on both sides because it is a touring bike I don't know if you can see on this side as much there is dual front brakes so it's braided cable on both sides now these were on it when I bought it too the Harley Davidson LED lights in the blinkers those make a huge difference too I can really really see them now moves they can get on top I am going to get the Daymaker headlight and passing lamps, but I think I'm going to go with the knockoffs just to see what they're like. I mean, they're 120 bucks. We'll see what we'll see what comes of that, but I don't know. I just I feel like I should try those first. I did put the beauty rings on the headlight and the passing lamps cuz I think it looks cool. Remove the windshield. It still has the mounts. For the removable windshield though not gonna take that off and this is a zero 3d phone mount that i finally found a place where i kind of like where it's at but i love this mount because it charges your phone also at the same time these are wild one chubby's 16 inch handlebars i don't know what the pullback is on them but i know they're 16s has the chrome levers on it clutch and brake lever now the switch housings are also chromed out and the switches a lot of people will go with either the chrome switches switch covers and the black housings but I really like the the whole chromed out version of it it also has a slipstream grips on it which I had these on my 98 Road King 2 they're very comfortable there's just enough chrome to make them pop but there's also just enough real leather to make them comfortable and also has the matching mirrors to the slipstream collection as well as the footboards and passenger footboards the brake pedal the highway pegs somebody went all out on this this was on it this way when I bought it and the shifter pegs I like it I like how it's all uniform and stuff on all my other bikes I always max mixed it up and on this one I really like it the way that it's all uniform it's cool we also have the braided clutch lever and the braided front brake obviously there back where you belong so moving back from there as far as the customizing part goes there's not a whole lot more else done there is the screaming eagle air cleaner I don't know what that one's called either but we don't have any special rocker box covers or timing cover or transmission cover or anything like that we do have the chromed out passenger running board on the outside also and we also have the saddlebag guard delete which is this black piece right here I don't know why they didn't go with chrome with that but yeah I'm not really sure so it also has the screaming eagle slip-on mufflers I don't know if you saw that or not it has a screaming eagle slip-on mufflers I love the sound of those mufflers I've heard them on other bikes too and I've always liked how deep they are 
Plus, I have the Rush Racing head pipe Econo line, something like that, because it uses the stock heat shields, so you don't have to buy extra heat shields, which really, really cuts down the price. But I'm a big fan of these of these mufflers. Got to point this out. Let me know if you guys want these available to you. These Stevie Faux stickers. Miss Stevie's bike has one also. Let me know if it's something you guys would be interested in. So moving to the back of the bike. It obviously has a detachable accessory kit. So if you have a passenger seat on here. The... the a sissy bar would mount to the shock and to here and if you had a tour pack or I have a luggage rack that's removable it goes from here to here in these mounts has the gap fillers here the fender fender fillers things whatever they are they're just chrome they don't have lights in them I don't really care for them with lights in them you got enough lights here already maybe if it was a street glide or a road glide and it had the different tail lights that those have I could see it but with this bar that the Rogue King has it would just cover it up so I don't know I like this too I also have the contour license plate holder the LED tail light the LED turn signals which are red man this thing's so dusty 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 so I put this solo seat on it the low profile solo seat I'm gonna get the back at the passenger pylon for it too because the passenger pylon I could just throw in saddlebags now if anything ever happened which we learned when I broke Miss Stevie's bike we could still go for, we could she could still jump on with me in case anything happens this side of the bike is kind of a no frills thing there's not really a whole lot done to it there's no special covers the shifter linkages have been changed, but that was one of the deals where you needed to change them, otherwise they broke on you. Also one of the things you gotta check to see if you got any play in your shifter linkage, and I haven't checked for a while and I don't. So, now I'm debating putting the soft lowers on here, which is why I've thought about going to the mustache crash bar, but if I want the soft lowers so I can ride in the winter, I really don't want to put those on because you can't use the soft lowers with those. Like I said, any questions, feel free to ask in the comments below. But until next time, everybody stay cool, and we will see you on the road.